Hi, I'm Tony Fleming and welcome to Fleming's Ultimate Garage. I like the Morgan there, Rich. I like it. It's actually pretty cool. I feel like I'm back in the 60s. Everybody, thanks for joining us on today's video. If I'm smiling right now, it's because you are too looking at this going, you know what, man, if this thing is anything like it is in pictures as it is in video, I'm gonna find a way to get this into my life. And you know why I say that? I say that's an awesome idea. Let me be the first one to congratulate you with your owner's manual for your Morgan 4-4. Boom, all right? <laughs> anyway, 1967, man, look at the style of this car. This car going down the road is exceptional. First off, it's a beautiful restoration with virtually no miles on it, just kind of like shakedown miles on it. And it is fabulous. You are going to get in this car and go for a drive on a Friday to work and you're gonna to say to yourself, what have I waited so long for? As you're rowing through the shifter, you're smiling as the car handles really well. Keep in mind, this has a lot of modern things on it that cars back then did not have. First off, it has rack and pinion steering, okay? It also has disc brakes leather interior. I mean, it's really, really nice. Not to mention it has a soft top as well. So it's all these good things to make sure that you can enjoy the car. Tons of gauges inside, the factory Smith's gauges, all this stuff is restored. And you spend some time looking at this thing. It costs way more to, to restore than you have to pay for it. And then people say, well, how, well, why is that? Well, wh how, how do you, how does somebody restore it and whatever? Well, they understand, they understand that the labor of restoring and the love of restoring it for them is special, right? They drive it for a little while and you benefit from the fact that now it's a lot less money and this is the really the way to buy a car let someone else pay for the restoration let them drive it for just a little bit and essentially you're still getting a brand new car for a lot less than it costs and you don't have to wait three years for it right all right so we look at the quality of the paint the white is uh spectacular but it never shows up white paper on white paint so i like to go right down here to the monterey blue look how crystal clear every letter is in there every letter all right real quick while we're here just wanted to show you some of the badging that's here too so for instance like the morgan car club uh, how long the Morgan's been around, 1910 to 1980 for this uh, thing here. I have a Morgan three-wheeler, so I love these types of cars anyway because they're just different, man. They're just so different that look at the style of this car. No other car in the world looks like this. No car. And the fact of the matter is, it's all restored and ready to go is even better. But anyway, let's take a peek under the hood. Let's look at the detail there because you need to see everything that's been done because we have not only a complete frame off restoration with pictures, right? But we also have a complete drivetrain rebuild as well. All right, so we're gonna take a peek on both sides of the engine compartment because this has given some thoughtful design. The British really did give some thought to these things. All right, this right here, this beautiful leather strap with wool on the other side of it. How cool is that? All right, these beautiful, these beautiful adjusters here. So those are the hood locks. I want you to see the detail in here. Upgraded wiper motor. This is a much more high performance engine that's in here. We're talking about almost double the horsepower that would have come from the factory, including this has a, a ceramic coated header, upgraded carburation system, engine as well, all new wiring, stainless, new radiator, all those good things. The original generator is still in the car circa 1950s, 60s, and 70s. Well, I guess the 60s are the last of the generators, all right? I wanna show you the other side because uh, it's got some really cool stuff in there since that we have a tool kit, we have extra spark plugs. They really gave you, uh, they expected you to drive these cars and if you needed to make a repair, it came with uh, these spark plugs here. Inside here is a tool kit, including uh, all the tools to get the spinners off. Uh, the, the wheels off, make adjustments that you need, polished tanks here, all new wiring, plumbing, electrical, everything in here. New, replated, refurbished, or rebuilt. 
I wish you could just see all the way down here and down to the oil filter housing and starter motor, all of it, beautifully detailed. You want to take this car to a show. You want to buy a mirror to put underneath of it because it looks fabulous. This is a piece of the car that you don't spend enough time looking at. And, I, and because we're in the car all the time and we walk typically from the front to the get in, this right here is, a, is what so many people see when it's going down the road. First off, it sounds great because it's got this great high performance engine and exhaust, right? Secondly, this is beautifully done. The two-tone paint, all the new lenses and chrome and stainless and bolts and things like that. This spare tire cover, hand stitched with the word Morgan on it. This spinner in the back, just these little tiny touches. Everybody always says to me, wow, that's a great looking car. But again, they don't really know why it's a great looking car. They just say a great looking car. These are the little details that make you smile like I'm smiling right now when I ride down the road in these uh, and like the gas cap, just all that little stuff makes for uh, collectability. All right, so this is the best part of the car. First off, look at this interior. The blue leather uh, with the matching piping to the exterior, so the exterior, just the two combination of them. This three-spoke Motolita wheel, polished in wood, stainless. Full gauges here, check this out. These, these Smith's gauges for amps, fuel, oil, uh, 110 mile an hour speedometer, temperature gauge. This has an electric fan built in too to give you both the cooling that you need for cruising and stuff like that. You can't see it, but the HVAC system all underneath there is all detailed, it says Smith's on it, the blower for the heat and what have you. I might even suggest that you ask us to have you installed right here. A nice little digital sound system, keeps the dash looking stock, but you can keep all your great tunes going and enjoy uh, the rest of the car. This mirror is just fabulous. This tiny little mirror is as cute as they come. <laughs> the mirror is so great, and the doors, man, we're just watch. This even has locks, so you can lock the doors, right? I'm sure no one would get in, but this has clip-in windows, it has a top, it has all that good stuff all behind the seat. But look how beautiful these doors are, and all of this is brass. The hinges are brass. This is an expensive car for its time because all of the detail stuff that was put into here but look at how beautifully it closes. Sounds like like a modern uh, great car. You got your wind wings here, keeps the wind from buffeting around you. And I'm just rolling down the road, working the shifter and the shifter is super cool because the way the engine and transmission are mounted, you actually push it back in here. So it just moves just a little bit. You don't have these long throws in between. And so you can really drive the car spirited and know that you're in the right gear and rolling down the road. I love the fact that it's right hand drive because after it takes like five minutes to get it all together and it's like you never, it, like it doesn't even matter because it just makes total sense that you're driving because you typically drive with your right hand anyway. And then you just work the shifter with the left and it's just really no different than being on the other side. It takes a minute or two to get used to it, but it's so cool to see somebody driving a car like this on this side here in the States. All right, so we close up the video with just a quick you know, snapshot of what we talked about. A beautiful frame off restoration with pictures and photos and receipts and documents and things like that. That's what makes for collectible cars. Second, very low miles since it's been done. So you get to enjoy almost a brand new, freshly restored car, right? But you're not paying freshly restored prices and you're not waiting three years to get it done if you could find somebody to start working on it tomorrow, right? Here you can get a chance to, to be wheeling it uh, by this weekend. Anyway, uh, call us 301. 816-1000 will tell you all about this 67 Morgan 44. Don't forget to click on the link below. It'll take you to prices and descriptions and things like that that we have there, as well as uh, we'd love to hear about some British Roadster stories that you have. Maybe you rode around in one, maybe you, uh, one of your parents had one or an uncle or something like that, or you remember being in England or someplace in the world where this was part of your life. We'd love to hear all about that. And don't forget to subscribe. The button's right below, and we will see you soon.